Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today I'm going to introduce you to Alibaba Cloud. So I have both the consoles logged in because we are going to compare AWS with Alibaba today. But as we are much familiar with AWS console, so how we can become expert on Alibaba Cloud as well. Because if you talk about market trends, so markets are like most of companies are working on AWS, but some features are available on the platform of AWS on Alibaba, which company has started using. So we are going to discuss like basic things about both platforms. So first of all, let us try to explore the console. So as you know about AWS, so this is your console home. Once you click here, you will see that like what all features and services does AWS provide. If you go to service console, so you will get to know like this is compute. So under compute, AWS provides EC2, light sale, ECR, uh, like elastic container registry, elastic container services, elastic Kubernetes services, Lambda, Batch and, and the rest of all. So there are multiple sections, not only your like storage, database, and migration and transfer, network and content delivery. So these sort of features AWS is providing on its platform. And I have created multiple videos on the top of it, so you can go through my channel. Now let us talk about Alibaba. How does Alibaba, uh, Alibaba's uh, console or interface look like? So, okay. So currently when we are talking about, so this is home. This is home page of Alibaba. Once you log into your account, so obviously you are going to see like this. This is global home page. There is no region selection requirement. As we see on the platform of AWS, so region selection is available here. On the platform of Alibaba, you will find all the regions here. Okay. So now let us talk about that. What all features does Alibaba provide? So obviously, it provides plastic computing. Then after it provides networking, monitor and management media services, domains and website hosting, marketplace it has, security features, obviously it, uh, Alibaba is going to provide DDoS, basic, advanced, premium, game shield, uh, WAF, it means web application, firewall, server guard, SSL certificate, content moderation and rest of features it is going to provide. Anti-bot services as well Alibaba is providing. Okay, now uh, your multiple database, storage and CDN, it has like cloud communication, it has middleware services, it is providing security, uh, DT plus it is providing. So multiple features are available here on the platform of it, uh, on the platform of Alibaba. Now, let us try to explore Elastic Compute Cloud, which is basic service of, uh, Alib which is basic, basic requirement of every, inf every infrastructure. So let us click on this and obviously we will be redirected to Alibaba's EC2 console. This is beauty of Alibaba that if you talk about AWS, so you will have to select any specific reason and all the resources available within that reason, you will be able to see only on that dashboard. Okay, for example, if I click on EC2, so I shall be able to see all the resources which are available within North Virginia region. For example, I need to check resources of Mumbai, so I will have to click on this reason and after that I shall be able to find that, okay, one instance is running in Mumbai region. If I talk about Alibaba, so Alibaba is providing you the summary page. It means all the resources, all the instances which are available within your account. So these are available on this home page only. Okay, my resources. So you can talk about Mumbai. You can talk about uh, like uh, mul uh, multiple regions are available. Multiple uh, data centers are available within China. Like uh, Japan, Tokyo, and obviously in UK it has in London. If you talk about Germany, so Frankfurt is there. If you talk about China, so Hot Hot is available. Ho Hot is available there. In Indonesia, Jakarta is there. Then after, if you talk about Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, China's Shenzhen uh, is a place. Then Hong Kong, Beijing, and rest of places are available. So this is beauty of Alibaba Cloud that you are able, you are going to find all the resources on a single platform. You will not have to select multiple reasons just to check out like whatever resources are available on the platform of Alibaba. All the resources whichever you have created. So when you have created number of total instances running, you will get you will get a summary page here. Then after number of snapshots you have created, then after like the space you are utilizing for your snapshots, everything you can get out of here. Okay. Then if you talk about instances creation and all, 
so instance under instances you will go here AWS, uh, AWS provides you feature like uh, once you go here you can launch instances using any specific reason but if we talk about uh, like Alibaba console so features are available here once you are on overview page select create instance once you click here so you will be redirected to this page wherein you are going to get basic configuration detail like network system configuration grouping preview uh, like all the things which are required here then after you can easily create your instance there are two billing methods first of all is subscription and second one is pay as you go so pay as you go means on demand for the time you are going to utilize your servers obviously you will be uh, you will have to pay for that okay so for now i'm going to use pay as you go option because this is just a demonstration uh, demonstration uh, video uh, like instance creation so i'm going to select this one for example i'm going to select mumbai or wherever you want you can select now reasons uh, we have selected reason now it comes to availability zone where you want to create so there are two zones available asia pacific sou1 zone b and zone a so wherever you want you can create your, your uh, server if you select random so out of these two availability zone wherever alibaba will have uh, more resources available will create as per uh, its availability uh, wherein if you have any specific requirement that you want to create in availability zone 1 or availability zone B or 1A or 1B so you can select yourself as well okay then instance type as we know that AWS has multiple types of instances so Alibaba is going to give you variety of instances uh, wherein you can select like type of number of VP, uh, virtual CPUs you can select then after number of GB of RAM you can select here so this is going to be like you can you can select any type of instance here wherein if you want to uh, compare about Alibaba and uh, your AWS so what additional features you are going to uh, you are going to go you are going to check here you are going to see like family like what type of family it is like general purpose why do we select all these instances then after type of instance you can select here then after the particular physical processor you are going to get here you can check here then the clock speed of CPU then after your, your network interface bandwidth you are going to get so everything is available on the top of this particular interface so for now I'm going to select 1 GB, 1 GB of RAM and 1 CPU so right now I'm going to get one instance here so I have selected this in this instance type are not intended to run continuously above their baseline performance for business scenarios with constant performance required it means if you want to uh, like run these instances for testing purpose then it is okay otherwise you will need to select any other instance because one cpu and one gbf ram is not suitable for any production requirement or any production sort of uh, like resources what if you are going to create now it's come to ami selection it means amazon ama machine image so here we are going to uh, see only images then after uh, you will have to select any operating system type then select a version maybe I'm going to select 6.8 or you can select up to 7.4 so uh, backward compatibility is given here on the platform of this so you can select any of operating system whatever you want maybe I'm going to select 7.2 or whatever then after it will ask me that uh, what type of storage disk you want to be attached to your operating system as a uh, like root disk device so I'm going to select SSD so it will obviously calculate uh, like if you talk about ultra disk so it is going to say uh, 0.015 usd per hour if you talk about ssd so it will be a bit higher so depending on your requirement like you are going to select like magnetic disk or you are going to select ssd so based on that your uh, price will vary this is also one beauty of it uh, of alibaba wherein if you need to select any instance creation on the platform of EC, uh, like AWS so you will not be shown that how much you will have to pay for per instance per hour but on the platform of Alibaba this is beauty like uh, you can easily check like how much you will have to spend if you are going to select these sort of instance now let us go to networking and obviously like as uh, AWS is providing T2 micro uh, sorry T2 micro uh, uh, unlimited so this is the same feature here you can uh, you can select it that you can go and you can utilize your instance beyond your baseline okay now, now let's go to networking if you have multiple vpcs it means uh, virtual private cloud if you have so obviously it will be helpful for you you can select any of uh, vpc wherever you want to create an instance then after 
if you want to select any specific uh, virtual LAN or virtual switch you have so you can select that it means uh, subnet selection is uh, available here okay so I don't have any so I will go with default one now let us talk about public IP so as we have public IP in enabled there so either you can go for public IP or which is known as elastic IPs so you will have to pay by traffic you can uh, this is uh, beauty of uh, this is beauty of your Alibaba cloud like you can select that how much speed you want to go how want to how much speed you want to obtain for your instance this feature is not given on the platform of AWS till uh, till date maybe in future that can be enabled but for uh, today that is not enabled okay so I want to have maybe 2 MB of speed dedicated on my plate on my on my instance or maybe 4 mbps so that is totally up to you that how much speed you want to obtain or how much bandwidth you want to have available with your instance okay now let us talk about uh, this security group so you can have or you can uh, select or reselect your security group so by default port 22 and port number 443 uh, these ports uh, 3389 so these ports are enabled because if you are going to create your uh, Linux instance so port 22 will be enabled and if you're going to create any Windows instance so your RDS port will be enabled for you by default with this particular security group okay now let us talk about system configuration so for system configuration you will have to select either you can select any key pair so you will be able to log in as you used to log in with your uh, keyboard uh, key, your key and key pair if you want to select root password uh, maybe you can set it later but I if you want to set it now so you can set maybe I'm going to set it now so this is my password okay and this is valid okay there seems to be some problem with this it means I have typed in some wrong password okay let me type in again this one okay now this is verified then after instance name if you want to give so for example I'm going to give uh, server gun description maybe test server host name if you want to specify server gun I want to specify then uh, sequence suffix if you want to have any suffix to your instance like local host and something so you can add in here then after grouping like uh, you can add tag here maybe name and server gyan whatever tag name you want to have you can add multiple here so you can have multiple tags enabled so that is an additional option but i don't want to go for it then after i will go for uh, your preview like whatever i have done so login credential username and password grouping name this one Asia Pacific this way this is my zone unit con uh, quantity one unit it means I'm going to launch only one server and rest of features you can see on the on this page if you want to check uh, okay if, if you want to save this particular configuration as a template so you can save that going forward you will have, you will not have to rework here and you will be able to launch your instance as and when required with couple of clicks only like you will not have to select any specific reason where you want to select you will not have to select any specific availability zone username and password so everything will be saved for you as a template so uh, I'm not going to configure it now because I don't want to save this particular launch template for me okay this is uh, one additional feature of it of Alibaba like you can already set that when you want to release this instance for example if you want to create an instance which should be working only for two hours so based on this particular time you can select and you can uh, remove this this instance from your account and that will be auto released it means you will not have to worry about that okay what if I intended to use this instance only for two hours and it's been two hours and five minutes so for five minutes even you will have to pay for complete hour so you can set the timing right away that uh, this instance will be terminated automatically okay this is term terms and conditions whatever are like uh, ECS service level agreement as well you will have to select and after that you will click on create instance instance has been created now you will have to click on back uh, either you can click on back or you can click on console so this will redirect you to your EC, ECS console so this is Alibaba cloud Mumbai region and uh, rest of things are available okay this is stopped uh, so select this and click on start so 
we started of resources status is invalid maybe i might have done something wrong here change instance type maybe i might have selected any wrong instance type here so detail one cpu one gb ram okay restart the instance okay notify after the payment is completed you should restart ecs and change the instance type that will take effect ECS price okay 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 it means I might have done something wrong like this is the detail here let me go back let me check what happened to this the start operation will be executed on one selected instance are you okay to proceed this okay okay fail of uh, the resource status is invalid auto diagnose click details to view diagnose result okay details let me check like what happened with my instance okay incorrect instance status start instance december this is this completed resolution so what can be done okay refresh the console to review the latest instance list make sure that target instance okay this is this okay okay useless so this is not useful for me so if i go to instance and I, okay this is running now okay so that was just like i could not refresh my page in time or i did not check whether the instance has been uh, created for me so i will go here now i will uh, type in my terminal ssh okay let me make this page a bit bigger for you okay ssh now i will have to type in root because root root is the username which i will try to log in with i will say yes and i will type in my password here and yes i'm logged on to my server if config is a command which i can run here and if i want to check whether my internet is working or not so i can run the command wget or maybe g o o g l google.com so yes my internet is working my page has been downloaded so if you want to check so index.html is available for you this is google's home page i don't know like uh, what is written in it so this is how guys you can create your resources on the platform of uh, alibaba and you can start using if you want to update your server so you can type in command yum update and whatever you want you can run here yum update uh, so whatever packages are available so these will be updated for you so I don't want to run this command further because obviously this is going to take some time and I don't want to spend time on updating these particular stuff. Okay, so this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good time. Happy learning from server again. If you have any further question related to this video, maybe you want to learn something else. So please do type in comment box. I shall be happy to assist you on that. Thank you. Have a good time.